Hello, this is Matthias for Marmoworld.com and welcome to the bonus part of our character animation tutorial series. In this part I show you how to create the parallax effect of the scrolling background. As you can see, the various parts of the background move with different speeds. We will set this up with eye expressions such that you only need to move the frontmost layer and all other layers follow automatically. All we need for this is the average link 2D eye expression from the linking bundle. As you can see, in this composition we already have separated the background image into individual layers. We have one layer for the bushes, one layer for the trees, one layer for the clouds, and one layer for the blue sky. Also, we have the background placeholder layer that we used in the previous parts of the tutorial series as a reference for our character rig. Of course, this one will be invisible in the final result. The placeholder represents the foreground. Now we create one additional null layer for each other depth level that we want to animate separately. We will attach the bushes to the foreground, hence we just need additional nulls for the trees, for the clouds and for the blue sky. We name those background not so far away, background far away, background very far away. Now to keep everything tidy we move them below our ground layer such that the layers are nicely sorted by their depth level. All of them should be at the same position. Hence we copy the position of the ground and paste it to the position of the various background layers. So how are we going to animate these layers? Well, the frontmost one we are going to keyframe manually and the very far background, as the other extreme, is not going to move at all. To animate the other layers in between, we open the eye expressions library and choose in the linking bundle the average link 2D. This expression can link a 2D value, like a layer position, to two other values. In our case, we want the layer to be influenced by both the position of the foreground and the position of the very far background. Hence, we first select the position of the ground layer and link it to the first parameter and then select the position of the very far away background and link it to the second one. The balance parameter says how much influence each of these two linked layers has. A low value means that it is more following the foreground and a high value means that it is more following the background. Hence, you can think of the balance now as a depth level. We choose a depth level of 30% and apply it to the position of the not so far away background and then set it to 90% and apply it to the position of the far away background. Now if we move the ground you can see that the other nulls also start moving. The very far background does not move, the far away background just moves a little and the not so far background moves significantly more. Now we simply parent our visible background layers to the respective nulls. The bushes are parented to the foreground, the trees behind the bushes to the not so far background, the clouds to the far away background and the blue sky to the very far away background. Now the background layers animate nicely if we move our ground layer. If you feel that one layer moves too much or too little, we can easily update the expression. Say we want the trees in the not so far away background to move less. So far their null has a balance of 30%. Hence to move the layer more far away we can increase the balance to say 50% and apply the expression again. Now the trees move significantly less. Of course you can add as many additional null layers as you need for different depth levels. 
All you need to do is to choose a different balance for each of them to place them nearer or more far away in the background. Okay, in this tutorial you've learned a simple and general concept to create 2D backgrounds with a parallax effect. In a nutshell, you just create one null for each depth level, animate the frontmost one by hand, keep the backmost one without any animation and animate all others automatically with the average link 2D eye expression. Again, this is Matthias for marmoworld.com. Thank you for watching our tutorials and see you again next time.